How you doing today? I'm doing really good today because I think today is the day I'm going to shoot something even though Michael says otherwise. He says this morning I'm just going to find a big one and walk away. But things are about to get really good here in a minute or two because Jerry's Donuts is right up here on the left. And if you want to have good luck antelope hunting, you just head on over to Jerry's Donuts in Rollins, Wyoming. And just about take it to the bank that you're going to find Big Hank that day. Jerry's Donuts. Don't miss it. Little nippy. 21 degrees according to my truck thermometer yesterday afternoon when we drove in here there's two water holes I thought there might be some antelope in this basin but right now they must be bedded or they're not here a lot of times they don't get out of their beds until the sun is up up because their low light vision isn't that great and if you sit there on a knob and glass about I don't know, 10 minutes before true sunrise or right at true sunrise, all of a sudden they're like popping up everywhere, jack in the box like stuff. Crazy. The sun just cleared the horizon behind me. Now there's a group there and a group here and one there and one up there. I just love coming here and doing it. It's as if they came from nowhere. And right now I haven't seen anything super exciting. There's one decent buck out there with six does, but I see a buck up here. He doesn't look that great. There's one further behind that I'm waiting to get a better look at. But I think if people come and put themselves in a strategic position with good optics and use the sun to their favor, they'd see a lot more antelope. And the tendency, and I, I have the same tendency here in Wyoming, because there's so many oil and gas roads, is to drive glass, drive glass. And I do that, but I also try to hike just a, sometimes all you gotta do is walk 100 yards to the next little lip and you can see the basin that no one sees from the road and the antelope know that and they just hang out in there. Right behind him, to the right. That's pretty cool. Well, more of the same. Keep looking and looking. I bet you this morning I've already looked at, I don't know, 15, 20 bucks. There's a mule deer antler laying in the sage right there. Little guy. We'll set it right here where someone will pick it up. You know how I am with shed antlers. I hang them in places. So I'm gonna hang that one right in a sage bush. Bring me good luck. This episode is going to be slightly delayed while Randy takes a phone call <clears throat> to be on a conference call with a nonprofit group that he sits on the board of. And uh, that starts in 10 minutes. So I found this little knob here where I got coverage. I have a booster in my truck, so if I turn on the truck, I can get coverage. I see a buck out in this basin, so before my call, I gotta go check him out. So last night, not last night, yesterday, late afternoon, we saw a good buck in this basin. But I wanted to go see some more stuff, so I left him, marked him on my GPS, and said I'll come back and look this morning. So I'm here to look, but he's conspicuously absent this morning. Teach me. Crank her up to 55.
I've given this area all of yesterday afternoon and all morning today. And I've not seen a buck. I saw one from far away that might be worth looking closer. I'm pulling stakes. I'm going to the complete other end of the unit. Gonna spend all afternoon over there, and that leaves me tomorrow morning. The pressure's on. Yeah. This could be possibly the best buck we've looked at. I don't know that for sure. But I think we gotta find a way to get over there to that side and figure out how to get a closer look. Well, the coyote. Yeah. Okay. We gotta head this way and try to cut him off. Definitely the, the best <clears throat> length that we found. He goes out and comes in really nice. And I was hoping that he had long prongs that were just flared out, because all I ever got was a side view, and it didn't look that great from the side. But a lot of times, if you look from the side, it looks thin. And then when they turn towards you, you see these big prongs. Not the case with him. You never know until you get closer and take a look. Right now, you almost got to get within 500 yards to get a decent look because of the mirage. Michael bought mustard, pucky as I call it. I don't do pucky. I barely allow it in my coolers. I don't know why I did. Cool looking buck here. He's running everyone else off. He doesn't look tall from the side. He's not that tall, he's got a good hook in. And he's more this way than he is like a normal pronghorn. So his prongs go out like that. And when he looks at it, it looks really big. And then from the side, it's such a thin profile because the prong is pointing at you. He doesn't look like much. But tomorrow, it's kind of a heading out of town, want to get some meat in the freezer, Buck. He'd be a cool one. He's breeding a doe. Look at him up there. He's on top of her. He done. So there's a what looks to be a really nice buck about a thousand yards away out here. The heat waves are so bad. There's a group of does with him. I'm trying to see what he's gonna do. Well, 
they peeled off this side. We're gonna follow this little two track up there and drop over and see what we find when we get up there. So he came back and now they're right out here in front of us and now I got a good look at him and he's not quite what I was hoping for. Oh well, keep looking. Keep looking and looking and looking and looking. two days and I've already got a day and a half gone I can't be screwing around just looking and hoping I got to know that what I'm looking at is the real deal so I give them a quick look move on look move on you can see for miles I don't see an antelope out there unusual just keep looking I don't know what else to do. So, there we go. So far, Michael, your script hasn't worked out. <laughs> Sorry about that. But we accomplished our goal, Michael. This morning at Jerry's Donuts at, when we left, you said, we got to get some really good footage today. Did we get enough antelope footage today? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. yeah. All right. We got 40 minutes of shooting light left. We're going to make one more big loop. I'm going to find the big one and we're going to shoot him. I bet you we saw 100 antelope bucks today. Haven't seen anything very big. Unfortunately, uh, I have to be home tomorrow. I told my wife I'd be home at midnight because they sent her dad home from the hospital and said there's nothing more we can do. And uh, she's got to go spend some time with her dad. Uh, so... I'm going to be done by, I don't know, sometime early afternoon tomorrow because I got eight hours <clears throat> to drive home and uh, some things are more important than hunting and uh, I want my wife to be down there to see her family. So maybe in the morning our luck will change. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.